Hey, Mr. Rice is back with you. And now we're doing something kind of strange. It's decomposing functions. That's my best zombie. Decompose. So that's what I think of when I'm talking about decomposing. So, um, last video I talked about a composite function, which is a function within a function, right? We take a function, we put it in a function, we get a new function. That's composite. So a composite is putting things together. Decomposing is taking things apart. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a function and a function that's some sort of composite function and we're going to take it apart into two um, maybe basic -er. that's not a, quite a word so maybe we'll say uh, two less complicated functions um, that, that could have happened we could have gotten our, H, our function if we had composed them so let's take a look at this example h of x is equal to 1 over x plus 1 where h of x is equal to the composite function f of g of x. So this is a composite function. What we want to do is we want to pull out f and g to decompose h. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, we're going to come up with f of x. And we're going to have also g of x. And these two together, if I, put the, if I put them as composite functions, I'll get h of x. Now, the, the neat thing about this is that there are so many different, there's a variety of things we can choose from, actually. But uh, I'll give you just a couple, maybe one that I think works the best. So, I think that if we had, remember that g is going into f to create h. So, in order for that to happen, this will need to be 1 over x. And g of x will need to be x plus 1. All right, so let's think about how this is going to work. We're going to take x plus 1, and we're going to plug that in here into x. And that's going to give us 1 over x plus 1. Okay, so that's how we decompose a function. We're taking it, and we're, spread, we're taking it apart. All right, so let's do another one, and then I'm going to come back with three examples for you. So we want to find f of x and g of x such that this function h of x is the composition of the two. Now, here's a cool thing. Um, you can actually decompose this into more than two functions. You can have f of g of h of x, or no, not h, because we're using h. So maybe like f of g of z of x, right? And we can, have, we can put a function into a function into a function if you wanted to. Um, but those are, that's for you advanced students there. Um, so what we're going to do is, I think probably the, one of the things that could work is let's go with f of x being 1 over x squared and g of x being x minus 2. Now, before some of you freak out and go, oh, Mr. Maestas, what are you doing? Just calm down, all right? Take a second and remember just to go backwards, just check your answer to see if it's right. I'm going to take x minus 2. I'm going to plug it into x. That should give us this function here, 1 over x minus 2 all squared. You see that? It's not too bad, right? Okay, so I'll be back in just a second here with some practice problems for you. All right, here we go. Here's a couple of practice problems for you. So hopefully you had a second to take a look at them and write them down and try them out. I'll go ahead and go over them with you now. So we want to decompose these into separate functions, f of x and g of x. Okay, so let's take a look at these. And, um, you know, there, like I said before, there are a lot of, of ways to write these. I think uh, one good way for this one is going to be f of x is square root of x, and g of x is 2x plus 1. So we're talking about the inside here. This is going to go in here, and then this is going to go in there and give us that function, okay? All right, what about 2? Two? 2, I would say a good shot for f of x would probably be, be, be the absolute value of x plus 3. And g of x is going to be x squared minus 2. One of the things you can think about, folks, here is that um, your g of x is going to be something that's inside another function, and then your f of x is going to be kind of like the outside part of it, right? So we're going to go in, and we're going to create that. All right, let's look at three here. Number three, I would say that f of x, a good shot at f of x would probably be, 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 
BBBB is going to probably be 2 to the x and g of x is going to be x plus 3. And these aren't too bad because it's going to be the base and the power and then um, whatever is that power is going to be your g to the g of x, okay? Alright, so that's decomposing functions. We'll catch you next time, folks. Bye!